The original movie from 74 Wow this is an amazing movie and wow the chase scene is awesome now I love the 2000 movie because that movie is part of a childhood my life as I saw the movie opening day 24 years ago with friends the beginning of this film is wild. It's basically a silent film with dialogue over the top of the action to let us know what's going on. Obviously done to save money, it's like no other film I've seen and what could have been bad filmmaking actually works in a very original way. Gone in 60 seconds was, of course, very successfully remade, sort of, in 2000 with Nicolas Cage. The later film is not a strict remake but more of the reworking of the main idea, stealing a bunch of cars in a short amount of time for a rich buyer. The film is definitely very low budget, but Halicky makes the most of every penny and it really works. Renaissance man Henry Blight Halicky not only wrote and directed the film, but starred in it and did many of the stunts. He plays the part owner of an insurance investigation business specializing in stolen cars. Naturally, this gives them all kinds of information that they can use to steal the cars they need. After receiving an order for 48 high on cars instead of a week, the crew postpones everything and begins to fill the order. At the same time the company is being called in to investigate the same cars they've stolen. It's a great, original idea, and the famous chase that ends the film inspired car chase films too numerous to mention, including Ron Howard's Eat My Dust and Grand Theft Auto all the way up to films like John Landis's The Blues Brothers. In my review of the original Thomas Crown Affair, I talked about the embracing of the 60s style. This film completely embraces the 70s with leather jackets, big sunglasses, leisure suits, floppy hats, go-go boots, bikinis and a period soundtrack, including country tint music during the chase scenes. If only the production values were better, it would certainly be a classic film of the period. Even so, many other aspects of the film are great. I just can't get over how well done this film is. I mean, there are terrible night scenes that are almost impossible to make out what's going on, and muffled dialogue, but there are places where brilliant editing by Warner Layton and a voiceover dialogue turns this into something very special. Ultimately, the bulk of the film is simply a prelude to the chase, in which the tagline for the film claims, 93 cars destroyed in 40 minutes. Halicky was obviously inspired by films like The French Connection and Bullet, but he takes the char chase to an epic level, through five different cities in and around Los Angeles, California at a cost of a quarter of a million dollars in destroyed vehicles. For the period, the chase is fantastic, the point of view shots from the cars are terrific and while the sound effects, squealing tires on dirt, are a bit off, it all works. The original Gone in 60 Seconds, for all its low budget beginnings, delivers a tremendous amount of entertainment and is one of the hidden gems of the 70s.